G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Coast Food Forest. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video on some of the stuff I use around the garden. Um, up here in Queensland, uh, the fruit fly is just shocking. It uh, devours pretty much all berries. Um, that's probably one of the first things I notice they go for. So strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, any sort of small berry on a tree. Uh, they just annihilate um, and the particular fruit fly is the Queensland the Queensland fruit fly but there is another variety that this will work for as well um, and this attracts the male fruit fly which is the one that does all the damage um, I bought this today down from down at the nursery um, I was gonna replace the wicks in these fruit fly traps which this is like a foam and you soak your fruit fly attractant on that. These are about 15 bucks from the nursery. Put the lid on, hang it, and then the fruit fly go into there and go onto the wick and then kills the male fruit fly. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got more of these around the garden somewhere. I just can't find them. I can't remember where I've put them. But the trick is not to hang them from the fruit trees. You want to hang these around the, the perimeter of your um, fruit trees or away from them. Um, I obviously have fruit trees all around the property so I try and hang them a fair distance away from any fruit tree to keep them away from the fruit. Um, especially the veggie, veggie garden when they completely devastate strawberries and tomatoes and the uh, berries the raspberries I've got growing um, you normally get wick replacements with these um, but they they'd run out this I can still smell it on there but it's very weak um, there are some remains of fruit fly in the bottom of this one of them there must have been 50 fruit flies in it I'm still I've still been catching these through the winter um, but now the weather's going to warm up and obviously fruit will develop we need to set these up and the way I'm going to do this I'm going to pour I'm going to dip the wick in this I've got myself a little tray here and I'll give it a bit of a shake first and I'm going to just put a little bit in the bottom of this It doesn't smell like the wicks, it's a different smell. And this is the first time I'm using this, only because they didn't have any wick replacements. So I'll do a follow up on this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip this wick in it, get it nice and you can see this soaking into it. And um, I'll do it to the next one, you'll see it just soak in. So that's pretty much completely soaked. But not only that, I'm going to put some of it in the bottom of this. Did say about that much. And when you're using this, what you want, want it to do is not get water in here. Some I hang from trees, some I place on like stumps. Um, and they can sit. I've got another stump over there. I sit it on next to the jackfruit. And then we put the lid on. I'll hang that or place it somewhere. I've just used cable ties because the string it comes with deteriorates very quickly. And then you uh, falls on the ground. Ants get in it. I'll show you. This is quite dry this week. I don't know where this is going to pick it up, but it just it just soaks it up. There you go, it's suck, sucking all that liquid into this foam. I'm not too sure how long this one will last for. The, the wicks actually last for several months. And we'll put about, I don't know, 20, 30 mil, I don't know. There's another one done. I was really happy with the way these worked the first time, so 
I'm gonna get more. The more fruit trees I get, the more of these I'm gonna need, I reckon. Oh, I didn't fill it, did I? There you go. Another one. I can definitely smell it coming out of there, so. They, they tend to get brittle, so when you tighten these back up, I've got to be really careful. And then I'm going to try and pour this back into this. Oh yeah, got it. Alright, we'll go for a walk and I'll show you where I'm going to put them. So we'll get this first one. And um, so my veggies and that are all over there, the strawberries. And what I want to do is set everything away. I mean, the jackfruit's obviously not going to be fruiting or anything. So I sit one on this stump here. Like that, make sure those holes are in a nice position. So there's my first one. And then we'll go... We'll hang one. I can't remember where I put them all. I can't remember where I got them from now. Uh, we'll hang one. I think one off this, this tree here. Just off this branch here like this. The wind might blow that one around a bit, but we'll see how that one goes. So it's several metres away from each, from each trap. And then I'm going to probably need one So I might keep them all down the bottom here somewhere and then I'll get some more and um, put some out the front maybe on this custard apple here which actually if I put it on there I'm not going to be able to get it back off because this is a very vigorous grower so we'll go around to actually this is where I used to have one I hung it off the um, I hung it off here somewhere I can't remember. I might. It's not going to go on there. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe in here. If it doesn't get many, I can change the position. Put one in there. But I definitely need more. I'm pretty sure I got more, but I just can't find them. They might have actually blown off and under a bit of mulch somewhere. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's to control the fruit fly. Last year when I put these fruit trap, fruit fly traps up, um, they did a really good job on it. I did notice that the, um, the strawberries weren't getting affected by it. Um, I'm pretty sure the, the larvae are harmless when you bite into a strawberry and you see these little tiny maggots um, kind of put you off so I'll do an update on the um, on the fruit fly traps might come out tomorrow or or maybe next week and see if we've caught any fruit fly and we'll do a follow-up on that so we'll see you then bye